Hi, I'm Auditor of State Keith Faber. This training is the result of a recently enacted law and is now required for nearly all Ohio public employees. This training will provide you with the tools necessary to detect and report fraud and maintain the strict ethical standards required by your position. Too often, my office is required to issue finance for recovery of taxpayer dollars or other sanctions against Ohio entities and employees that could have been avoided. This training will provide you with the knowledge to help you avoid these penalties associated with fiscal wrongdoing. More importantly, it will assist you in recognizing potential criminal activity by others and give you the information necessary to report to law enforcement or the auditor's special investigations unit. As public servants, we are expected to do our jobs with the utmost honesty as we serve Ohio's taxpayers. I thank you for your service to Ohioans, and if you have any questions after the training, please feel free to contact us at the Auditor's Office at either ohioauditor.gov or 1-866-FRAUD-OH. Thank you. Welcome to the Ohio Auditor of State's training video on reporting fraud, waste, and abuse in government. As public employees, it's our responsibility to ensure that taxpayer dollars are used efficiently, effectively, and transparently. That requires a rigid adherence to the ethical behavior that taxpayers across Ohio have come to expect from us. The overwhelming majority of public employees come to work and do their jobs with the highest level of professionalism and pride. But on occasion, there are bad actors who take advantage of their access to public funds and resources. These types of behaviors are rare, but when they do occur, no matter how big or small, it severely erodes the public's trust in our work. Before we begin, here's a bit of background. The brief training you're about to receive is just one layer of a robust fraud reporting training that is required by law of all state and local government employees. Each public employee is required to receive this training during their initial onboarding and every four years thereafter. By learning the signs of fraud, knowing your responsibilities when fraudulent behavior in government occurs, and knowing how to report fraud to the appropriate authorities, you can play a key role in preventing loss of taxpayer resources. And as a public employee with an inside perspective to the day-to-day -day doings of government, you are the first line of defense in stamping out fraud, waste, and abuse. Let's begin by defining our three main categories, fraud, waste, and abuse, and then look at examples of each in the context of state and local government. First, fraud. Fraud in government refers to intentional deception or misrepresentation for personal gain or to deceive the public. This could include embezzlement, bribery, or falsifying documents, such as timesheets or financial statements. Let's look at an example. In 2019, an employee of Smith Village created fake invoices for services that were never provided. They arranged for a family member to receive the contract to provide those services. When the invoices were paid, the employee and their accomplice pocketed the money. This scheme lasted for three years before being discovered, resulting in losses totaling $30,000. Now let's look at waste. Waste in government occurs when resources are used carelessly or extravagantly without adequate oversight, resulting in unnecessary costs to taxpayers. This might include overpaying for goods or services, unnecessary spending on projects, or even an intentionally inefficient process for a routine task. Let's look at an example. The Office of Finance is looking to purchase new technology for its team. The department decided to purchase desktop PCs for all administrative employees, all of whom had already been issued laptops. As a result of this oversight, many employees decided they don't need the new machines, and the PCs end up in storage, unused and wasting taxpayer funds. If the Office of Finance had issued the machines only to employees who needed them, they could have saved money. And lastly, abuse. Abuse excludes fraud and noncompliance and involves actions that a prudent person would determine to be unreasonable based on the circumstances, such as requesting reimbursement for an expensive meal or asking an assistant to pick up dry cleaning during working hours. Let's look at an example. The director of communications frequently has his clothes dry cleaned. 
It's common practice that he sends his admin out once a week to the dry cleaners 20 minutes from the office. Not only should the director be responsible for his own laundry, but it is also obviously inappropriate to have the admin run errands on state time. It's important to know that the examples provided are not comprehensive or exhaustive definitions of fraud, waste, or abuse. But if something doesn't look right, it's probably worth looking into. It's crucial for us to remain vigilant and report any suspicions of fraud, waste, or abuse. Suspect fraud? Speak up. We'll do the rest. Let's take a moment to discuss how you can report suspected bad behavior to the Ohio Auditor's Special Investigation Unit. Ohio law requires that any known instance of fraud, waste, or abuse be reported to the Ohio Auditor of State. There are several options you can use to make a report. You can report online through the Auditor's website. Make a call to our Special Investigations Unit and speak to our intake specialists. This may require you to leave a message outside of business hours, but our staff will contact you. Send an email to our Special Investigations Unit that details the information you want to report. Make a report through mail, sending our Special Investigations Unit a narrative and any substantiating documentation you may have. All public organizations have a working relationship with staff at the Ohio Auditor's Office. If you suspect fraud, waste, or abuse, you could make a report to a member of our audit team. In this case, they could assist you in providing the necessary information to our Special Investigations Unit. Anyone who makes a report to the Auditor of State's Special Investigation Unit should expect one of our intake specialists or investigators to reach out to them. The more information that you can provide, the greater we're able to thoroughly investigate your claim. Remember, making the report is the first step in stamping out unethical and illegal behavior in government. It's important to note that public employees are protected against disciplinary action or retaliation from their employer for making a reasonable and good-faith report of suspected fraud, theft in office, or misuse or misappropriation of public money. That means your good-faith report of suspected fraud should not impact your role or status as a government employee. Thank you for taking the time to watch this important training video. By working together to detect and prevent fraud, waste, and abuse, we can ensure that taxpayer dollars are used responsibly, effectively, and transparently. Remember, it's up to all of us to uphold the integrity of state and local government in Ohio.